So, let's have a chat about these two hedge trimmers. One being the Hasvana, and the other being the Still. At some point in a later video, we'll discuss this beautiful pink watering can as well. But for now, we'll we'll focus on the Husky, the 520i HE3, and the Still HLA 66. Just recently put out a separate video review all about this little unit, and I've done one on this previously on the channel. So be sure to check those out if you want more detailed information. But let's have a look at the way the batteries go in. They both go in at the back, but the differences mostly are that the still one goes in from the back and it doesn't have a hole in there, if that makes sense. That one, when you take the battery out, there's a hole. So this, you can get stuff in there, and I have done in the past. Bits and bobs fall in there, leaves and whatnot, and get stuck in there. You've got to clean it out from time to time. But generally, it works well. You slide the battery in push it in like that and it's locked in there I haven't had any of these fall out yet like they did on the previous model of this over on the Husky the battery comes out from the side oh he says a bit difficult one handed there you go it slides out and you have a hole all the way through so nothing ever gets built up in there which is a better design I always run the BLI 200 batteries in the Husky hedges and saws. I think they just, it's better balanced and I run the BLI 300s in the blower and the whippy or the line trimmer or the strimmer if you're in England. So that just, the battery on this one just slides in from the right and clips into place. Never had one of those fall out either. So there's a little bit of a cooling design here to keep the battery, to help keep the battery cool on the Husky. I don't think there is anything like that on the still. This sort of looks like it should be that, but it's not. Nothing underneath. No, nothing on there. So this is, again, just those little touches that Husky think about, I, I personally think. They just, they just think about things slightly more than the still guys. I don't know why. Sorry, still. You guys think about stuff too, but moving down to the handles. We've got this lovely handle on the steel one here, which looks great, but doesn't really work that well. As I mentioned in my previous review video, in use, this three stage fiddly thumb, checky, hand down, pushy stuff just, yeah, doesn't really work that well. Over on the Husky, you've got a simple on button, push that down, pull the trigger up, easy. Although this bugs me a bit because it automatically turns off after about 30 seconds and then you've got to uh, press it on again. It's not a biggie. This isn't a biggie either. I much prefer this, but I wish it didn't turn off quite so quickly. Maybe a minute and a half or two minutes, maybe even three. I get why it's like that for safety, but it would be good to just give us a touch longer than, I don't know, whatever it is, 30 seconds. Moving down, this one has this D handle on. The Husky does not come with that. I don't often use that on on here to be honest. I'm normally holding it up here. So I'm not fussed about that really. It's just a plastic one. I don't use it very much. I don't ever miss it on the Husky. So I guess you could take it off there. But, but this, is, this sort of looks like it should be on the trimmer, you know, the line trimmer. But um, anyway, this comes with it and that doesn't. They both have these little, these little um, clips so you can put the straps in. I never use the straps with these smaller ones. Occasionally I will with the big ones because they do your back in. Um, but I don't ever use it with these smaller ones to be honest. Both got rubber handles up here, grippy rubber handles. This one's a little bit shorter than that one. Uh, both perfectly fine. This one's probably a little bit more heavy duty feeling. This one's, actually no, they're fine. They're both the same really, all good. No dramas with the rubber handles. Uh, let me just put you down a sec and I will unfold these. So then we can have a look at the, um, the blades whatnot. <laughs> okay, they both have a very similar mechanism to release and change the angle of the blades. This just pulls back and then you can flip the blades. Same with this one. 
both have the motors here and there. This one is all plastic. Underneath it's all plastic. The gear housing or gear casing is all plastic. It's, you know, it's tough feeling plastic, but it is plastic. This motor does have the fans on the side, on the top here and on the side to try and help keep that a bit cooler. Huskies has like a handle here, whereas this is more of a sort of just part of the design, I guess. Husky has its fans in here and it's all metal, this bit, this whole gear housing and this bit's all metal. Actually, this is metal on, on here too. This bit here is metal, but everything else is plastic. Whereas this bit's all metal here, and this bit's plastic. This is like a rubbery kind of feeling plastic. Gear housing's all metal underneath. This is a better design. Both have a very similar blade length and tooth spacing I believe is the same I think it's 33 mils I'll double check that um, the major difference is obviously this one the Husky runs at 4,000 cuts per minute this one runs at a measly 3,000 so this one's heaps better this one comes with a tip protector which is good this one does not which is not good I think it's about ten dollars in Australia land to get a tip protector, but you gotta get them tip protectors, baby. Gotta protect them tips. Uh, what else can we talk about? This one is. Let's have a look at weight. Or oh, I can't really look at weight, but let me pick it up and feel it. That one feels about as heavy as that one feels, and uh, this one's heavier, but this one's got a bigger battery in. So, yeah, they're probably about the same, really. I'm quite surprised about that, actually. This one actually feels a little bit heavier than the Husky. Yeah, but I think that's just the battery. Um, what else can we talk about? Well, let's actually fire them up, eh? So you can see the difference between these, these hedges. Let's try and do this one-handedly. So that's the main differences between these just a quick kind of quick and dirty run through nothing spectacular just a conversation really with you guys about them I've got an all I've got one of these coming tip protector in fact it's it's arrived in the shop so I need to go and pick it up I love I, I really just you should never run one of these without a tip protector on personally so that'll be good when that gets on there uh, what did you think of the blade speed difference I, I notice it so much when I'm using it it's um it's massive it's only a thousand cuts per minute but like I really notice the difference so and you know the still one's not bad just the husky's better that's it really no uh, no fanboy any rubbish stuff here it's just what it is is what it is if the still was better I tell you but it ain't so I'm not gonna um, yeah nothing too fancy about this video guys I just wanted to get something out there because I felt felt like being a bit creative and just uh, doing something so Sometimes when you when I got an idea of doing a video, I sort of plan it and write it and script it and you know take all these shots and get all these ideas and well yeah by the time you finished it it's like a week's worth of work. Whereas this I've just picked the GoPro up and started talking to you. So the last one of those I did actually where I've got the it's a conversation about line trimmers. Um, and I've got four line trimmers. It's just me talking to the GoPro. That's actually the second most viewed video on my channel. So. You know, um, maybe just keeping it simple and, and straight to the point and real is is actually what, I don't know, maybe that's better. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you prefer this kind of just basic, simple, straight to the point videos or something, I don't know, I say a bit more fancy, but they're hardly fancy my videos, are they? But you know what I mean. Anywho, that's the Husky 520 IHE3. 
versus the steel HLA 66. Not really a versus, just a just a look at them both really, and a sh and a uh, sort of seeing the differences. Oh, and don't forget, we'll come back and talk about this bad boy one day. Actually, we probably won't. That's fine. See ya.